hello and welcome to day 31 out of 31 days of Halloween. Happy Halloween! I hope you have a absolutely amazing day, night, weekend coming up. Like, just have an amazing time. But getting into this look, I uploaded this one on Halloween because I thought it was my most creepiest. Let me know what you think. But as normal, I sketch out the design with a white eyeliner pencil and I have glue stick down my brows before starting filming. But then I go into a white face paint. This one is by Mayron and I start to fill in the clown face, not including the eye and the mouth area. Now going down to the mouth area, I use the Colourpop Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Banging Brunette and sketch out the teeth of this area and then I start to paint the white face paint around the teeth. Then using a yellow snazzery face paint, I fill in one of the eyes and then I go over that with the yellow eyeshadow in the London Copyright Playhouse palette. Then with the P. Louise base in the shade Zero, I go over the open area on the other eye. And I go over that with a pink face paint by Snazaroo. This clown has quite a sketched out feel to it. It's very like cartoony, sketched out vibe. So what I do is get a black face paint and outline the two eye sections and make it very graphic-y and sketched out like. I quickly fill in my nose with a red face paint and then I start to create some kind of texture to the skin and just detail in with a black face paint by drawing some wrinkles around the face. So I start off with the forehead wrinkles, frown wrinkles, then the crow's feet and just different lines all around the face just to give it a little bit more animation. For the shading and shadowing in this look, I go into the Lunatic Cosmetics Labs contour palette and use the grey tones in that palette. I apply some shading around the lines that I have already drawn just to emphasise them that little bit more. To make the nose go with the rest of the style of the face, I start to create some black lines and also some white kind of paint marks around the nose as well. I thought the yellow shape around the eye looked a little bit too clean so I went in first with an orange face paint to create some shading on the outside and then I slowly went darker with the brown and then I started to use some eyeshadows as well just to add the depth on the outer corner. I got a black eyeshadow and started to really badly blend it around my lash line. I didn't want it to look too smooth or too perfect so I kind of used a lot of tapping motion and just some bad blending. I then used the Fenty Beauty Vivid Eyeliner in the shade Banana Blaze and created some graphic lines above and below the eye. And similar what I did to the yellow shaped eye I'm doing over on the pink side. This is actually meant to look like the eye has been kind of torn open and has been held open by staples that you'll see later on. So I add some really dark red or pink tones in this area and I do a lot of tapping motions to give it a lot more texture so it looks like open skin. I use a Fenty eyeliner to create some graphic lines on this side also but this one was in the shade Papaya Mama. For the staples I used the Snazzery face paint in the shade Gun Metal and I just created the staples on the top and the bottom of the shape around the eye. To make them stand out even more, I outline them with the black face paint and then add some highlight stripes to them using the Fenty Beauty Vivid Eyeliner in the shade Wet T-Shirt. Now it is time to paint the teeth. I basically created my own type of face paint here. I just mixed a little bit of yellow in with the white because I wanted them to be cream looking. I don't want them to blend in with the white face. So I paint the ones that are actually on my face at the moment and then I fill in the gaps in between them with the black face paint. I then start to paint the teeth that are going to be on my chest and neck. I'd already sketched out the kind of shape of where the mouths are going to be with the white eyeliner beforehand. So all I do is paint the teeth and then I just fill in the rest of the mouth black. Once I've done that, I get some white face paint and start to blend it in the areas where there is a lot of skin. Looking back, if I redid this, I'd probably painted this whole area white before doing the mouth, but we're here now. I then decided I think the teeth were just a little bit too curly white so I went in with a yellow and a brown and just made them look a little bit more dirty. With a brown eyeshadow I went in and just shaded around 
all of the mouth areas that I have on my body. To make me look a little bit more of a killer clown, I got a red face paint and added some red blood stains to every single tooth. Using a black face paint, I outlined every single mouth that is on my body. Lastly, I put on my wig and I turn it into pigtails. I did have bows and pipe cleaners, but then I got rid of the bows and just stuck with the pipe cleaners. So this is the final look. I really hope that you like it and that you've liked my 31 days of Halloween. If I don't seem as preppy in this video in my voiceover, I am so tired. This has honestly killed me this year, but it has honestly been the most amazing 31 days of Halloween that I have done. The response from you all has been incredible. I did not even dream to see the numbers that I have done over this month. It has been insane, especially TikTok. I literally joined it the 1st of October and one of my videos nearly has a million views. It is actually mind-blowing and also I've worked with some incredible brands over on my Instagram. I'm so grateful for all of them and yeah I, it's just been amazing i'm literally on cloud nine but i'm sleeping on cloud nine because i'm tired if you liked this video and this series please please let me know you can let me know by pressing the like button down below or leaving me a comment and telling me which one was your favorite because i would love to hear that because on different platforms the numbers have been completely different on instagram i think the most popular post that i have is the mcdonald's clown on tiktok it is they're just different on every platform I've posted it on so I would love to see what your personal favourite was this year. If you haven't already please consider subscribing to me over here on YouTube. Halloween may be over but I have some incredible ideas for November if I do so so myself and I will also be doing 25 days of Christmas in December so if you're interested in that as well please press the subscribe button so I can see you again and also consider following me over on Instagram because I have a lot going on over there as well. It is literally incredible. I think I nearly have 50,000 of you. By the time this video goes up, I might actually have hit 50,000, which will actually be ridiculous. Like, I can't even comprehend it. But if you want to follow me over there as well, my name is at brook.ellis underscore. It's linked in the description down below, along with some coupon codes for you. Please don't forget to use them if you want to. I have some for eyelashes, makeup, photography, contact lenses, all different types of brands down there so make sure you go check them out if you want to and yeah i will see you in my next video have an amazing halloween i love you all bye